Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of Auto Shop Talks. So today I have bought some Autodex and news for you. So before starting, I would inform you that I will make the episodes of Auto Shop Talks daily as I want to cover a lot of parts. Uh, two videos a week will not work for me. So I will make the videos as possible as time for me. So let's start. So today I am picking up some interesting topics uh, related to vehicle safety features. A lot of safety features has been emerged in automobile since many years. The common features are anti-lock braking system, traction control system, electronic stability control and airbags. Let's talk about the anti-lock braking system. The most unnaving things that can happen in motoring is while braking your brakes get locked up. Your one or two tires get locked up and you have no traction on the road. This can face you to possible effect. Your vehicle can slide at one side or your vehicle is skidding at straight line but you do not have any directional control from your steering. The best way to prevent skidding is applying a form of braking that is called as cadence braking. Cadence braking is a technique in which the drivers quickly and repeatedly releases and reapplies the brake. This technique is followed by anti-lock braking system. If the ABS is engaged and in case you apply the brakes and the tire is wet or uh, you are driving under wet conditions, the tire may get skid. The sensor of the ABS senses the skid and in the one third of the second, it gives the signal to the brake caliper to release the brake and reapplies the brake when the traction is return achieved. Cause skidding is not an effective way of braking. The tire gets locked up without ABS and driver do not have any directional control. With ABS, the brake is applying a cadence technique and the driver have full control on the steering wheel and he moves out safely. Our next one is traction control system. You can also say it is a part of ABS as it uses the same sensor that the ABS uses. Traction is a friction maintained by the road and the tire. If there is no traction, the tire would skid. So what work does the traction control system does? Imagine that you are on a stop sign at a wet and slippery road. It's your turn to go and you push the gas pedal. Your tire will start to slip as they do not have inner traction on the slippery road. Then the traction control kicks in and slow down the speed of the tires and ensures that vehicle moves in a smooth form. Our next one is electronic stability control. Electronic stability control helps the driver to reduce the risk of crashes by steering while oversteering or understeering. Electronic stability control works by using a number of intelligent sensor that senses when the tire loses traction and applies the brake to the relevant wheel. In the case due to oversteering or understeering. ABS and traction control are the integral components of electronic stability control. So let's talk about the airbags. Airbags is a vehicle safety feature that activates when the vehicle suffers crashes. The airbag module is designed to inflate and deflate during a collision. When a car hits something, it starts to lose speed rapidly. An electronic chip named as accelerometer detects the change in speed. If the deacceleration is fast, the accelerometer triggers the airbag switch. The airbag circuit passes the electric current to the heating element uh, like a wire in toaster. The heating element ignites the chemical sodium azide. As the explosion occurs, it develops a massive amount of air. The air is harmless and fills the airbag to a great extent. The airbag is coated with a talcum substance uh, such as uh, talcum powder uh, to open it quickly. So our next news is Yamaha FZ250 will launch in India at 24th January 2017. The new FZ 250 will be the most powerful bike locally manufactured by the Yamaha in India and having a price tag, expected price tag of 1.5 lakh INR X showroom. The underpinnings of the Yamaha FZ250 will be shared by the FZ250 which is currently sold in the Brazilian market. It will be powered with 
249 cc single cylinder oil cooled fuel injected engine which will deliver 20.7 ps of max power and and 20.4 newton meter of peak torque and mated to a five speed transmission suspension duties will be handled by front telescopic and rear monoshock suspension this brake will be seen at both the ends ABS is not given to cut the price of the vehicle uh, due to the Indian market. It will rival with KTM Duke 200, Benelli TN25, Mahindra Mojo and with respect to price. So guys, this much only for today's session. Hope you guys see you in my next video and do watch you love. Before leaving, please guys subscribe to my channel. If you want to see auto stuff talks, please subscribe.